respected member of the council who was also himself looking for the kingdom of God, took courage and went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. And Pilate wondered if it were already dead. And summoning the centurion, he asked him whether Jesus was already dead. And when he learned from the centurion that he was dead, he granted the body to Joseph, and he bought a linen shroud, and taking him down, wrapped him in the linen shroud, and laid him in a new tomb, which had been hewn out of the rock. And he rolled a stone against the door of the tomb. Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of Joseph, saw where he was laid. And when the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James and Solom, bought spices so that they might go and anoint him. And very early in the morning on the first day of the week, they came to the tomb at the rising of the sun, and they were saying to one another, Who will roll away the stone for us from the door of the tomb? And looking up, they saw that the stone was rolled back. It was very large. And entering the tomb, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, dressed in a white robe, and they were amazed. And he said to them, Do not be amazed. You see Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. But go and tell his disciples and Peter that he is going before you to Galilee, where there you will see him as he told you. And they went out quickly and fled from the tomb, for trembling and astonishment had come upon them. And they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. Uh,